So I'm working on this guitar neck. Um, I always like to have the fingerboard glued onto the neck. I know there are different trains of thoughts. Um, attach the neck, then level things between the neck, the body, and then attach the fingerboard. I like to have this all connected because I like <clears throat> be able to feel as I carve um, the actual thickness. And I think it's easier when it's off the body. And if you have the, the um, angles dialed in and the neck joint correct, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, so I'm carving the neck. The main thing I do is I always establish the center line down the middle and I don't touch <clears throat> that center line while I'm carving. It's kind of like a hands off. Um, and it just, I like to visualize it as like a topographic map. Um, you know, it's kind of like the ridge line and I don't want to carve anything off the ridge line. And it serves as just a nice way to stay oriented as you go. Um, I also keep a little bit of a lip above, a little bit of extra of the neck material above the fingerboard, and that's kind of a nice visual barrier. Um, and other than that, I basically just use these super coarse rasps. Um, you can really get these anywhere. They're fancier, more expensive versions like anything, but I just get them from hardware store. Um, and then I use a spoke shave, curved spoke shave. Um, make sure you have the grain oriented appropriately to reduce tear out. And yeah, there are a lot of other methods or ways to do this, but I think this is an enjoyable process and I like to make observations as I carve um, and really feel the material as it takes form. This is a cool piece of wood. It's um, some kind of salvaged walnut and um, it's got some neat like pinholes in it and I think those are really cool. So I'm, I kind of like that they're, they're kind of showing here and here and nice features and stories in a sense. As you can see, it doesn't take that long to use the spoke shave. And it already takes form. starting to become, you can kind of see where obviously you haven't touched, you can see the difference. Um, so I'll keep working on that. But it's an enjoyable process, take your time. Again, establish a center line that you're not gonna carve away. That'll be like the last thing maybe you sand and round over. And then I also leave this little lip and ledge and that'll be one of the last things too. So otherwise you're, basically hogging away everything between the ridge and this kind of like edge or shoreline here as i like to think of it so and just yeah take your time um, be aware of grain run out and enjoy the process good luck